Hello, I'm Dr. Marcus Cowan. I'm here with the Implant Center in Miami at the Coral Gables location. And I wanted to talk with you guys about something that's very popular among patients as far as questions go. So we get a lot of patients that come in that are looking for implants to replace their missing teeth. And on a number of patients, we have to tell them that we, you can be a candidate for implant placement, but we do need to do some bone grafting. Now, sometimes patients look at bone grafting and they think that it's just something that adds cost to the case, but it might not be necessary, but in fact it is. So for our implants to have long-term success and long-term stability, they have to have a certain amount of bone width and a certain amount of bone height for the implant to be stable long-term. If we see a case where the bone is a bit skinnier and we need to do some bone grafting to build it up to be able to hold that implant long term, it's best to do that on the front end when we're starting the case rather than doing the case without the bone grafting. If you do a case without bone grafting, it may seem like it saves you cost in the beginning and the implant may be fine even for a year or two or three. But then you start to see complications where you start to see that because the bone was thin, instead of being stable long term, the bone begins to erode away and resorb away. And now you're having a lot more problems, a lot more complications, and it's a lot more expensive and a lot more complicated to fix things when you went that route instead of making sure that the foundation was set from the beginning. So here we'll show you this case of a patient that I treated who came in and they were missing their front four of their front teeth and they wanted implant replacement because they had had a partial and they didn't like having to take their teeth in and out. What we did is we started the case by doing some bone grafting, building the bone up. And as you can see here, this is the before of the width of the bone. It's a bit more narrow. And this is the after healing showing that we got a lot more bone width and that's going to be very stable long term. As you can see, this is the after of this patient who was able to now smile and has teeth that he doesn't have to take in and out. And we did it in a way that the foundation was very strong so he should have those teeth and, and his smile for decades to come.